be ready 5 seconds in this batch of writ petitions the issues involved being identical they have been heard together and are being disposed of by this common judgment in all the writ petitions the petitioners have challenged the constitutional validity of the cess and other taxes on minerals validation act 1992 which replaced the cess and other taxes on minerals validation ordinance 1992 the ordinance was published in the gazette of india extraordinary on february 15 1992 whereas the act was assented to by the president of india on 4th april 1992 and published in the gazette on the same day the contention of the petitioners is twofold it is contended that the ordinance as well as the act which later replaced the ordinance are unconstitutional and void for various reasons alternatively even if the act and the ordinance are held to be valid the respondents are not justified in issuing the impugned demand notice under the ordinance and the act since neither the ordinance nor the act permitted or permits any fresh recovery of cess under the provisions of the law declared invalid by the supreme court the erstwhile ordinance and now the impugned act merely seek to validate the cess already collected or realized which collection or realization has been declared invalid by the supreme court the sole objective of the act is to validate the collections and realization already made till april 1991 and does not permit or authorize making of any fresh demand of any cess the central coal fields limited whose writ petition was dismissed by the patna high court on 7 12 as noticed earlier had also preferred an appeal to the supreme court being civil appeal number 1521 of 1990 by order dated 19th march 1990 the said appeal was allowed and in view of the decision of the court in india cement limited it was held that the order of the high court could not be sustained the judgment and order of the high court was accordingly set aside and the writ petition was consequently allowed the case of the petitioners is that the appeal preferred by the petitioner company namely civil appeal number 592 of 1986 came up for hearing before the honorable supreme court along with the appeals arising out of the judgments of the high court of orissa and madhya pradesh all the appeals involved common issues as to the validity of the levy of cess